Hey guys, it's Yishan here. I am here. Uh, we just wrapped up DCS 5, Dragon Runner Championship Series number 5. I wanted to bring you guys the top 8 deck lists that uh, top the event here. So here we have, right along, first place, Kurt Cobain. Um, he took a 50 card Phantom Knight to all the way to the win, winning himself $740. What do you guys think about the 50 car fan? I mean, we see a couple two of hand traps, uh, you know, two tr triple tactics, but like nothing too crazy in this deck, right? Two Kagamucha, uh, a couple more two ofs, um, but nothing too crazy. Just sort of added a little bit extra space for maybe some equip spells, these two equip spells, and this Infernal Blight Renaud with the Isolde combo. But let me know what you guys think of a 50 card here. We got the triple nib. Uh, we're probably going to see a lot of that. Nib is really, really, really strong this format. Um, but congratulations to Kurt taking home the $740. Second place, uh, we have Zolika18, who managed to uh, take home for himself $370. We got a 46 card Sky Strike. So we had a 50 card first place, 46 card second place. Is 40 dead? Well, we'll have to see. Um, but we got Triple Ash, you know, Triple Valor. The double ghost spell here, um, but what I really noticed is a pretty standard striker deck, except it's got you know it's 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 ch it's chose the TC Boo line with one two nine eleven fourteen hand traps that looks like plus triple droplets, so a lot of going second power here, um, pretty pretty strong. No artifacts except for in the side deck they run the Sanctum, the Scythe, and the, the Lancia, um, but you know pretty smooth. Other than that, of course we got DP, uh, we got two afterburners in the side, which is really interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I see that as, as often, um, but we got the triple, uh, the triple cosmics. So really, really cool. Congratulations to Zalika in the extra deck, pretty standard. Um, so not too much to write home about there. Um, okay. That's Zalika 18 in second place. Uh, we got top four here. We got, you broke my heart. Uh, top four took home $185. Um, now, Kurt, or not Kurt, you broke my heart. Could you submit your deck list more organized, please, next time? Anyway, this is a 60-card PK. There are two maliciouses in this deck, as you can see here and here. Um, there's also three Silent Boots. You just have to find the third one, I'm, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm literally gone crazy and there's only two Silent Boots. Um, maybe there's only two Silent Boots. It's possible. He also ran the DPE package, but he chose to run Malicious and Decider with it. I'm still looking for the third silent boot. I actually can't find it. So maybe he really only runs two. Um that's pretty interesting. What do you guys think about that then? I yeah, I, I don't see it. So it's it's definitely more of a level three spam deck. It's got a different combo. It's got, you know, Curious, Nightmare Griffin, uh, you know, Imperial Order, just the whole 60 card shebang. So maybe it's a little bit less um Phantom Knights focus and a little more level three focus. Triple Mystic Mind on the side. Two Lightning Storm in the main. Pretty random stuff. I don't even know what this this is like some doctor card here. Um, but other than that, pretty pretty cool. So this is You Broke My Hearts 60 card Phantom Knight deck. Uh other top four finisher was B20 Beatrice, who finished top four with pure Drytron. Um pretty pretty interesting list, honestly. Uh I saw this one Don Dragster, one Chaotic Ruler. No IP Mask Reina in the extra deck. Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, one main deck, Mystic Mind to go with the Terraforming. Yeah, two Fafnir, Triple Nova, Triple Cyber Emergency. Honestly, I'm just a really solid list. Just extremely solid. So um, pretty, pretty cool. Glad to see him doing well. We got two Gamma, two Delta uh, as all the Drytrons. I like it a lot. Pretty solid list. Triple Token Collector in the side. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Don Dragster was super interesting as sort of a tech. And so it's Chaotic Ruler. Okay. That is our last top four finisher. Now we're getting on to the top eight finishers who took home a total of $93 each. Uh, we have, maybe it's Destiny, top eight with Dragon Link. Uh, honestly, it's a pretty standard looking Dragon Link deck. We got the two Imperms here, 43 cards, two Imperm, two Lancia. We do notice the double Rocket Synchron here, um, but we're playing all, basically every standard spell that you could play, plus the three Nibs and the Gammas. Um, and then in the side deck, we see the Token Collector, we see the Summon Limit, we see Galaxy Cyclone in this side deck. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure what to make of it. In the extra deck, we got some other cool stuff. I'm not sure what the Succeeds monster is. I'll take a look at it later, but we got two of these Heralds, um, which makes sense. Uh, you know, the rest of the extra deck looks pretty standard. So, okay, congratulations to maybe it's Destiny. Um, and then we have Lampy as well on the top eight with a small world bird up list here. 
Um, really, really interesting. I really like how smooth this deck is. Now, what I'm really noticing about this deck is instead of playing two Sapphire Swallow, we see one Alpha Master of Beasts. This is really interesting. I think it works pretty well with Small World. Um, and it's like something you can search with Small World, maybe if you need a big beater, like maybe unexpected out there. It's also a decent going second card. We see the double, we see the triple nib and the triple droll and lockbird as the side deck choices. Um, these are all small worldable hand traps, which is really interesting, I think, right? These these all work with small world. So okay, that is uh our top eight here with Lampy with the Lyrless Trap Brigade with Small World. Um, we have Red Gamer 7 who got top 8 as well. We're seeing another Sky Striker list. This time no nib in the main deck. Only 41 cards. We again see the triple TC Boo. We're seeing a double shared ride in the main deck here. Um, this is really interesting, I think. Um, but, you know, pretty good. 3 ray, 2 rows. Um, and yeah, so I guess for our hand traps, we have no droplets here. But we got triple Imperm, triple Ash, triple Veiler. And we got the Nibiru's in the side as well. Okay, so I think that... Oh, it's actually 3 share ride, excuse me. So... Really, really believe in this share ride. Just need to pay off for Red Gamer 7. In the extra deck, we see pretty standard. Um, we see the uh, Artemis in the extra deck for the Axis Code stuff. Um, and then the two high out there, one kind of seems to be pretty standard as well, along with the DP. Okay, so that is that. Our last top eight deck goes to Georgi Ichurin. Um, and he got top eight with a DPE Drytron list. We see the Plasma, of course, instead of the Dasher here. Um, we again see Token Collector, Nib, Droll on the side. So a lot, basically all going second cards in the side. Um, and then we see, again, the exact same Drytron lineup. Triple, 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two. Um, no Natasha here in this one. This one's running DPE, right? We see triple uh, this, 2-1, right? So interesting, not playing triple Herald of the Orange Light. We only see one Scythe. Uh, we have one Plasma and one Celestial. And then, of course, we have the triple tactics the triple forbidden droplets triple fusion destiny triple nova one medium so we don't see any of the field spell that makes it a little bit less prone to droll and lockbird um so okay that is the entire list guys that is all the top eight decks from dragon rider championship series uh thanks for watching if you enjoy my content subscribe we're almost at 7,000. so yeah please consider subscribing other than that guys i'm going to end the video now hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next one